What's up chickpeas? Today we're gonna make a delicious vegan soup, Zupa inspired. Yeah! So all ingredients will be in the description box below. We're gonna take some onions, some red potatoes, giving those a quick wash. And next we're going to chop up our potatoes and then we're going to get started on our soup base. So we're starting off with four cups of vegetable stock and I'm going to go ahead and add my lentils now so they have time to kind of absorb some of that veggie stock liquid. Next I'm adding a whole can of coconut milk. This is going to add a nice creamy, light, sweet undertone flavor to our veggie soup. I'm just going to dump all those potatoes right in there and go ahead and season that mixture. Everything is in the description box. So you know I had to add the vegan staple nutritional yeast and now I'm giving that soup a quick stir. Now I'm adding some meatless meatballs to give our soup some hearty backbone. Just adding that in as well as my secret ingredient which is some ginger lemon echinacea tea. I really wanted turmeric but I lost it so this was my anti-inflammatory replacement. So now we're gonna bring this mixture up to a boil so we can let those meatless meatballs and those lentils absorb a lot of those flavors and just combine everything. So now I'm gonna prep my leafy greens. Not gonna put them in just yet, but definitely wanna wash them, chop them up, massage that kale so it releases a lot of those flavors and salt it. And while that's working, I'm just gonna stir up the soup a little bit. I wanna take some of those potatoes out so I can mash them up. This gives the soup a new level of texture that it might not have had before so it makes it way creamier it has a little mashed potato type texture to it I guess but um, this really kind of elevates it a lot so I'm adding some basil now and then I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that kale in that frozen spinach so we're almost done now just gonna give that a quick toss and the soup is hot enough to kind of defrost that spinach and really let it soak up a lot of those fantastic juices oh it's looking so good. And I decided at the last minute to add some of those delicious chickpeas just to give it some more texture. I love different textures and flavors in heartier soups. It makes you feel fuller. You have all kinds of different vitamins and nutrients that are just incorporated into this powerhouse anti-inflammatory soup. So I hope you give it a try. Definitely great as the weather kind of starts to chill off, especially here in the South. Enjoy. That was your crime from the start. Uh.